Good afternoon. It's another beautiful sunny spring day here in western New York and today's project at Bob's Barn Workshop is going to be front wheel bearing hubs on my 2005 Envoy. The anti-lock brakes haven't been working for a couple of years. The hubs have gone bad. So it's time to change them out. I, find a, I found a set of Moogs on, uh, on eBay actually for 140 bucks, which is about the going price for one most other places. And if I get down to it, I'll get it jacked up and spray down those bolts on the cat converter and uh, get that swapped out. This is what I built a sandblasting cabinet for, by the way, is to clean up these wheels and repaint them. And I'm going to do the same thing to the aluminum wheels and, and clean and paint those up so she looks nice. All right. And always work smart, guys. I got this on. Um, jack stands under the frame on both sides and I still left the jack under the front. Wear protective lenses whenever you're using tools, especially impacts. My lenses happen to be impact. This guy is my chair while I'm working on chair. I did these brakes not too many years ago. I think they should be good. Good to go. Oh yeah, there's a lot of pad left on there. I already cracked this big lug. A big lug. The spindle nut. I don't see any reason why I can't finish taking it. on the other one. I'm going to crank that wheel around. Caliper has to be on the front of this one. And I believe, now I've seen guys pull these all out because I'm not doing anything to the brakes. Is that in your eyes. I think that these are 18s. I think they're all 18s. Looks like I can get to these with my impact. Thanks to Mr. DeWalt, I have been able to um, I'm gonna get my screwdriver first. Alright, as we've done before, gonna try to compress those calipers but there's a can't get it up in here. These go in from the inside. Dang it. I really have to make them hard. I know how to do it. Alright, well, I got that top bolt out. Somebody's been in here, they're all anti-seized up. Man. These are R18s. because hopefully this will come off the rotor. I mean the whole rotor wants to come. <laughs> Caliper is pretty loose actually. Alright, we'll hook this guy up here with a 
LNG out of the way. Perfect. Rotor's coming off. Yeah, these should probably be replaced too. These come off easy enough, don't they? Sure they do. It's these beasts that I need to get out. So, if you look, these studs stick out this side too. Really can't get your camera any lower, but there's another 18 right in here. That I'm going to need about a 3 inch extension for. Which I do have. I'll be able to get that one out. Pads left. Oh, that's all ground up on there though. What the hell is that? Hmm. Looks like it's got too small a diameter of discs on the front. Because the pads are wearing way off the edge. But that's weird. Alright, so I got another little savior here. I have a wobble extension. Let's see if I can get that out. Oh, I know the trick. Okay, hold on. I gotta drive the shaft back. Oh, what are you doing? And now the ultimate burning question is, will the hub come out? Oh, one whack. One whack, Jack. Okay, now. Oh my gosh. That is crusty. I've got two. Get these little duplazes out of here. All right, I gotta get some pliers. Okay, so that goes under there. These things are a little bit of a pain. All right. I don't know what I'm bothering, but be careful with this fork. Should just cut the freaking thing off. something in stock nearby. These are shot. Look at them. They're nothing but flakes. Trusty, I've got to clean this all out with a a wire wheel I have from my uh, little, I call it my zippy tool and other projects. I don't feel any looseness. Everything seems nice and tight at least. As far as the, that stuff goes. Alright. Well, after shopping local stores online, I couldn't find any backing plates available locally, so I had to order them via my favorite online stores. But I can work on getting this stuff cleaned up. I ordered a backing plate. Great shoes, OEM. I'm going 
done with buying cheap knockoffs, I ordered OEM parts. Just work on cleaning this stuff up. I'm going to take the other side apart. Um, I got new brake shoes, new rotors, new backing plates coming. I'm looking at these struts, and these struts need to be replaced too. But you know what? Well, that's it for now until I get my new parts. Hi, guys and gals. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here. We just had a rainstorm, but it's uh, almost 80 degrees. Well, where I left off. Remember we had the front end of these pulled off and we were waiting for new backing plates. Well, that kind of hung me up, so I uh, have another project I need to do. I showed you that uh, cat pipe. I guess this is locked. Well, <clears throat> I started taking the cat pipe out. I don't know why I didn't video it. I found out, I wiggled the exhaust system, the whole thing fell off, so I'm doing a complete new exhaust system on this. And uh, another issue was my studs broke off in the manifold, which I guess maybe you can see that if I get right in there. One stud, the nut came off. One stud, the whole stud came out. And the other one snapped off. Well, I had to end up drilling the broken stud out and then I got my torch out. <clears throat> I ended up blowing the corner off the flange with the torch, but it's there's enough of a slot there that I can use a bolt. So I'm waiting for parts, but I wanted to put what I've got of this video up before I put this back together. Oh yeah, I have to take the whole cross member out right here that holds the tranny up. To get the pipe back in I was able to get the broken one out and I also broke a bolt on the transmission mount so yeah all kinds of fun parts coming and projects on this envoy and I'm thinking about maybe I should do new struts now the struts aren't bad they actually unbolt a couple of bolts from the top through the hood the whole thing hangs in here not touching anything else except that one big arm you can see at the bottom and that one big nut. So to get it out you just undo all those nuts. They say you have to undo the link here. Put a jack under this so you can move it up and down and take the pressure off. But uh, Alright, I might do struts while I got it all apart. This is for... <laughs> Till next time guys, God bless, take care.